Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The object radius node. I've gone ahead and fired up a quick little example here. What we've got is three different cubes. I technically one cube scaled three times. I have a one size cube, a two size cube, and a five times cube. Right now my texture material that I'm using only has this texture plugged in. And as you can see, because we've scaled the object, we have zero to one for our UV mapping, which is the same for all of these, but because we have a larger surface, it scales up the texture. Now the object radius node, what it does is it gives us the radius of our object. So this radius, this radius, and this radius, they're all the same ratio because I'm scaling them all the same. The radius itself will be bigger, but the ratio is going to be the same. So by using the object radius node to give me back the radius of the object, basically how the rate, it's a radius. I'm dividing the radius by 400, multiplying that by a texture coordinate node that I've set to tile times two, and then plugging that into a customized UV. Now this is all extra stuff and this is just an example, but what I'm doing is creating a customized UV for a texture and that UV is going to resize itself based on the radius of the object. So by doing this, now if we look at this, now we actually see that even though this one's five times bigger than this and this one is two times bigger than this, they all have the same size texture. The texture has been basically UV mapped and rescaled appropriately so that way all of our bricks and our texture look the same despite the fact we have different sized objects here. And it's not the different size, it's the fact that scaling stretched our UVs, but we took that into account by figuring out what the radius is and then basically shrinking our UVs appropriately. So that is what our object radius does. This code does not work perfectly. It's not taking into effect non-uniform scaling and things like that. This is just an example to show how object radius works. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.